So Troy, welcome to international football, senior international football. It's been a, a dream week so far for you. Um, yeah, it's been good. Um, obviously playing playing well at club level when I get the chance to play and then um, coming in here. It's obviously a huge achievement for me. So the first few days training have been good as well. There's been so much speculation about you in, in the past months and about, you know, was it time to get you into the senior team? Are you aware of that? Do people from home tell you about it? Do your mum ring in and tell you? Or? No, I don't pay you. I don't pay attention to any of that stuff. Um, I just try and try keep doing well whenever I play and whenever I'm training. And then, luckily enough, the opportunities come about this time and hopefully I'm able to take up both hands. It's been quite incredible to watch you around the squad because you're, you're the youngest player in this current squad and when you get your debut against New Zealand, you'll be the third youngest Irish player ever. You were six and a half when Glenn Whelan made his debut. I mean, it's quite incredible, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, when you say it like that, you make Glenn sound a bit old. <laughs> um, no, it's good though. He, to play at Ireland, no matter what age you are, is, is an unbelievable achievement. Um, I just can't wait to get out there, yeah. What's your first Ireland memories? I mean, when you, when you look back at international football, what do you remember? Or? Um, I've, I have good memories of the the Euro, the last Euros that we were in um, in France. In France, yeah. Um, before that, I was very young, though. To be <laughs> to be honest, um, yeah, that's that's about it, really. So, for you to come in now and to to be working with Glenn Whelan and Jeff Hendrick and Robbie Brady and and, and these players, it's quite quite something for you personally. Yeah, it's good. Because obviously um, for me, because I'm watching all the other camps and, and years before where Ireland are trying to qualify or Ireland are playing and I'm always watching them on the telly and then to come in and, and obviously be around them and training with them and, and obviously having a chance to to play with them and try and, and get the wins in them important games is, is good. Like. And Glenn has been very good to every young player coming in, hasn't he? Every new player coming into the squad. Yeah, look, it's Glenn, but it's not only Glenn, it's it's all of the lads, to be honest. Um, they're all just welcoming and, and get you involved in everything. What does Robbie Keane around the place mean to you? Because you have a very close relationship with Robbie, haven't you? Yeah, it's good. Um, it's obviously because he came from sports and, and stuff like that, and obviously he was a top, top player. So it's good. it's good to have people like that in and around that you can and obviously we play in the same position so that I can learn off and and sort of take advice off and just listen in and try tap into his knowledge. It's interesting you say you play in the same position I mean people have said you're you're maybe a 10 or you're you're an out and out striker what do you think is your, is your best or have you even found your best position yet? <laughs> um, I'm not sure really like um, when I was younger I played in all different positions I played in goal at one stage Played centre mid, left off the left. Um, then I sort of just formed into a striker, really. But for me, striker is 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 where I want to play. But obviously, if 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 I come into Ireland or I come into Spurs and and the coach puts me in any position, I'm just happy that I'm on the pitch. To be honest, even goalkeeper still. <laughs> Have you outgrown that one? No, anywhere except goalkeeper. <laughs> were you good as a keeper, or what were you? I was all right. Like I used it. <laughs> I used to play for the under nines in, in centre mid and then on the Saturday and then go up to the under tens on the Sunday and playing goal, so two yeah, games every you weekend. Get the best of everything. <laughs> yeah. When you look back, Troy, over the years, I mean, you were, you were telling us you were involved with Stella, you were involved with Sheriff, you were involved, of course, with Belvedere for so, for so long. The guys and, and, and the, the girls in those teams and the, the coaches and the mothers and the fathers and the committees, they've all contributed to every single player that's here today, haven't they? Yeah, of course. Look, it, it's... Except for like the, the the lads that have come from England to play in the Ireland team, like all the other Irish players would have would have played and for the, some of them teams like Kevin's and um Belvo and Stella Sheriff, like the like the underage teams or not underage but skill boy teams in, in Dublin are, are good. Very good. Like that there's a good it's all about just enjoying yourself and stuff and obviously you play for your local team, or you're, like it's all your mates around and you're playing with, and then it's just fun. Like that's that's what everyone wants to do when they're younger. And do you feel that part of you is representing them as well? If you were to make your debut now against yeah, New Zealand, yeah, of of course. Um, 
because like I still get messages from people at them clubs and and stuff. I always see stuff on Instagram what they're putting up or on social media. Always like they're always looking out for, like for the, the best for me. So it's if if I was to play, it, I think like it it just goes to show that that players can come from them sort of clubs and and go on to play for international football. You were mentioning France in 2016, and we were having a look at the records. When Ireland were playing in France, you were winning the Kennedy Cup with the DSL and you were scoring one of the penalties in the shootout. And here you are, like three years later, with a chance of helping Ireland get to the next European Championships. Yeah, it's crazy on what, what can happen in a couple of years. Um, the Kennedy Cup was great, though. It was a great week, like, great bunch of lads, like, great coaches, and it's just all around enjoyable. And then. Um, Obviously, when we were down there, we, we went to watch the Ireland and France game. Mm. So it just goes to show like a lot can happen in a, in a short period short of, time. of time. And when when you look back at it, I mean, you've played 15s with Ireland, you've played 16s, you played 17s, you played 19s, you played 21s. You've come up through the ranks very quickly. Yeah, um, I think I've played like I started off 15s, and then I played a couple of games 16s, and then obviously I went to the Euros and with the under 17s and had a good. A good competition, and then um, went to the 19s and and played a couple of games and scored. Just it's for me, it's about scoring goals. Mm. That's all I want to do, to be honest. And it stands out when 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 people look at it and see, oh, he scored another goal or he scored and got an assist. And and I think um, if someone can score, then then I think it, it helps to go up the levels quicker. Like. And then obviously when I went to 21s first, I scored for them again on my debut, so it was good. And now a goal on your senior debut would be very well received by everybody. <laughs> yeah, well I'm not planning on stopping now. <laughs> In terms of, of you know, we, we talk about Robbie, etc. But Jack Bourne, has, has, I've been watching around the place with you and you're rooming with Jack and he's he's taking you under your wing this week. I mean, you're, you're from a very similar background, aren't you? Very similar background. Yeah, we live literally two minutes away from each other. Like, and it's good to have... Obviously, there's a couple of others in the squad as well that um, are from like sort so of the same areas and stuff. But it's good to have someone with the same background and and what went through the same as what I'm going through now um, at, at good clubs. Like just to have in here and it's a friendly face, like to, to walk through the door and see. And he hasn't stopped smiling since the cup final, has he? He's been walking around all week. <laughs> he hasn't got stopped going on about it. Has he? He's <laughs> And then, of course, he won Player of the Year as well on Saturday night, so another trophy for him. Yeah, well, he, de he deserves it all, to be honest, because I've been looking at, at, at some of the games that he's played during the season. He scored some, some good goals, and he's came back from England and just took, took leave of Ireland by storm, so I'm happy for him. There was a lovely photograph when you were training with the, the under-21s last time around, and, and Aaron Connolly had been called into the senior squad, and the two of you were sort of shaking hands on the side of the training mm -hmm. pitch. I mean, Aaron, when you saw Aaron against George in Switzerland, were you thinking fair play to him? And I'd love to part of, be part of that now as well. Yeah, exactly. Like it was, it was kind of motivational for me because the month before, like me and Aaron played against Armenia and then against Sweden together, and then to see him going on. Obviously, I was at the game against them um, Spurs when he played and he done well like to see him go on to play for, for like a full international is is great to see like and it's just it just makes me think right well I want to do the same and then um, obviously it's just good to be on the other side of the fence now and the same side of the fence as Aaron who yeah. unfortunately isn't here this week of course but I'm sure there are going to be many many years for the two of you together in terms of Mick McCarthy then what's he done for you this week what's he said to you um, he's just Obviously, said like enjoy myself and like don't feel like I need to do anything that I don't do in 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 club level. Like just keep keep doing what, I'm, what I've been doing, and that's what's got me here. So to score goals for <laughs> exactly, yeah, that's the job. And of course, for all the other managers you've worked with, uh, you know, I'm thinking Stephen Kenny, Colin O'Brien, Tom Moan, uh, all these lads. They've all played a part as well, haven't they? Yeah, like there's all the like I went from. Colin, the saying Colin was one of the best managers I've ever worked with. To Tom, who then I've said the same about him, and then to Stephen, who I've said the same about him. Like the the managers in the in the underage Ireland setup is, is unbelievable. Like they they sort of all obviously have their own way of of playing and not not so much playing, but way of managing a team and stuff. But I think the main object objective for all of them is just for people to go out and enjoy themselves. 
Oh and that's and, and not doubting the talent that's in the team because like it's a lot of it has been negative in the last couple of years but as you can see like all the under seventeens and the Euros are doing well and the under nineteens doing well and then obviously the twenty ones now doing well so it just does talent flowing through underage or now. And you can see now. that all come to the fore now, can't you? Exactly, yeah, because they're getting the platforms to play like and and the twenty ones unbeaten up until the last the last camp um and the 19s got into the semi-final of the Euros last year, so it just goes to show. So when you made your under-15 debut and Jason was the manager and, and Jason's done so much great work with, with the under-15s and your initiation song was a, a One Direction number, do you, do you remember singing that? Or? I can't remember, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I could, I wouldn't say it. But <laughs> so now, I mean, a few years later, and you're, you're, you're going to have to do this again, aren't you? You're going to have to come in and sing in front of the senior squad. And yeah, well, it's just it's another chance to get the vocals out. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you thinking? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't thought of it yet. But it definitely won't be. Up, listen, I'll put on a show. And it definitely won't be One Direction, then? No, it won't be One Direction. So you like you like a bit of a show on, on, with the singing as well? Yeah, I'll put on a show, yeah, for give the, all the boys a laugh. And if you get a chance to put on a show against New Zealand, the whole of Dublin, the whole of Ireland are going to love it. That's the plan.